So we're going to give this another go this year. Uh, I've got 12 quarts of apple and sugar water. Uh, I actually canned most of these a couple of days ago. All I did was just put them in there. They're not cooked or anything. All the peels are there. I did uh, use a slicer on them to get them sliced up. But two days and there's no... Uh, there's no pop to that lid. They're already uh, doing their job. So we got to get these in the ground. Uh, different spot than what I did it before. Uh, the hole's definitely deeper. It's late September right now. And our mistake last year was doing it the spring, having it right out over the summer, which when we dug, dug up our stuff before, it was apple sludge. Uh, the strawberry that we did actually turned out okay, but it, none of us wanted to drink it. We were too afraid. So we're going to bury these. Uh, I didn't get as deep as I wanted. I, I live right next to a swamp, so uh, I consequently ran into a layer of clay, and we haven't had any rain lately, so it's hard. It, it's hard as a rock down there. So this is as deep as I can go. We're going to put all these in here, cover it all back up, Put a black tarp over it um, and let it ride out the winter. Hopefully by March it will be clear enough that we can get in here. I'm going to also, once these go in the ground, uh, we're going to put something over the top of them so when I'm digging them up I don't do any damage. So we'll see how it goes this year, next year. So I've run into a bit of a problem. Um, First of all, I'm burying some of the more apple and some of the holes that I've already created from the last time we did this. And I still can't get them deep enough. The ground is just too hard here. I cannot dig in there. It's just hard, hard clay. And I'm just going to use this styrofoam to uh, protect it instead of uh, any kind of board. I don't have any sheet metal or anything to put in there to protect it. So uh, I'm just going to use this. The problem I have main problem is I also have a pear tree that I'm trying this with and uh, I've got four jars of pears and I buried them and I was gonna mound them up and cover them with black plastic and I can't find them <laughs> I buried them a couple of days ago and uh, they're over there somewhere and the problem is that all the leaves are falling now and have completely obliterated the burial spot so I'm going to have to dig them back up, I guess, try and find them, or just rake some leaves and try and find where the fresh hole was. But, uh, yeah, a little bit of a pickle. This is not deep enough again. Uh, I can't go any deeper without uh, some sort of heavy equipment, but what are you going to do? I guess I'll have to stick to making wine inside the house if this doesn't work. Max has decided to come down and help me locate a good spot for the next batch. Are you going to help me find the batch of pears that I lost, Biggs? Yeah? What do you think, tough guy? What do you think? What do you think? Come here. No, uh, no relieving yourself in this one this year, bud. Well, thanks for the help. Okay, I'm not even sure if my first recording got done because my phone crashed on me. But uh, it's April 22nd, and just about six months ago, I buried some uh, apple stuff in here. I'm probably going to splice those two videos together, if I even know how. And, uh, I believe this is where I buried them. I, I covered it in some foam, because I, I didn't really have anything to cover it with, so I just covered some, some foam underneath there to protect it when I started digging it. I just hit that foam there. So, it's got to be in here. Yeah, there's some more foam. So let's... See if you can get one of these jars. Okay, yeah, you can see a little bit of the metal from one of those jars. 
Uh, I'm gonna have to uh, put the phone down, I think, and do a little bit more digging. So I can't really see in there. I'll do this one handed. Well, here's the first one I pulled up, and it's fizzing away, which I don't know if it's good or bad. I know this is bad. That it, it's it doesn't it's not sealed. I don't think it's sealed. Uh, see, it's pop. That shouldn't be. That shouldn't be popping like that. Let's see if I can get another one out. Now this one is not fizzing. Maybe I broke the seal when I dug that one up. That is tight. That one. No, it's not. <laughs> it's not. I don't know if that's good or bad. I don't think it should be. And I don't remember how many I buried, which is another problem. I have to go back and watch my original recording to see how many it was. I don't know. I have to pause this again. My friend Seely has decided to come help me. Yes, she's helping. So here's what I came up with. I came up with 12. So I don't remember exactly how many I buried. I probably documented, but uh, I'm pretty sure it was 12, and I've got 12 more somewhere else. But uh, a couple of these look like they're bad. They've got. Uh, let's see which one is it? white on the inside. I don't know if you can see that in this light, but see that ring of white? I don't trust that. And the apples look pretty brown on the top. So a couple of these are probably just going to get uh, go in the compost pile. But I'm going to go clean them up and uh, start opening them. So here's what I wound up with after I rinsed everything off. Quite frankly, I don't trust any of them. They're all pretty cloudy and murky, except for one. One is really clear. I dragged these up the hill, banging them around a bit. Actually, once I got them up the hill and I started rinsing them, they all started popping. They all really got got me nervous. I thought uh, I thought I was going to have a couple of them pop open on me, but uh, I'm going to crack a couple of these open and see what happens. I don't know if you can hear, but you sure you got to be able to see that. I just cracked that open. Boy, oh boy. There's a lot of pressure in there. So I opened up this first one and it does, uh, it smells very much like wine. It's not fizzing as much as that. Uh, it's gonna have a bit of dirt in it, but uh, it was definitely, it definitely, it doesn't smell bad at all. It smells like wine. And uh, I'm just going to open these one by one and see what I get out of this. You can see this one's fizzing pretty good. They all got a bit of bubbles in them, so we'll see. <laughs> 